What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to GNR Frank. My name is Francisco, and today we're going to talk about a legendary gaming headset. Let's go. So I guess if we're going to go down into technicalities, this is the second time I owned this headset. However, when I first owned it, it was a very old iteration of it and I wasn't doing YouTube at the time. But now that I am, I've got a new iteration of this headset and I am on YouTube as that's that's kind of obvious. Anyway, if you're ever looking for a headset and you, you type in like the best gaming headsets ever or the best gaming headsets of uh, 2020 or something like that, there's a really good chance you're probably going to run across the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset on those lists for really good reasons. Before we get into those reasons, let's talk about what's inside of the box and what this headset looks like and some of the features that it includes. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the HyperX Cloud 2 in all of its nice matte black finish. Uh, we do have plastic cans, metal inside band, very well padded head cushion, and of course some velour very comfortable memory foam ear pad. So this thing is quite a beautiful headset. It's uh, incredibly comfortable. It does have 53 millimeter drivers and I typically stick to 50 millimeter. Uh, I don't like going below that because like once you get into the 40 millimeter territory, the actual ear cups can be a lot smaller. And for me with my, you know, big head and ears, uh, that can be very uncomfortable. So these things fit very nicely and they actually go around your ear as opposed to sitting on your ear. So for those of us who are sitting here playing or streaming for long periods of time, this headset will not bother you whatsoever. It's actually super, 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 super comfortable. It's not very light and it's not very heavy. There is definitely, you definitely can tell you have a headset on. It doesn't make it uncomfortable whatsoever. So don't worry about that, okay? It does have a braided cable, right? So in the year 2020, anybody coming out with rubber cords on their headsets, uh, they're kind of behind the game right now. One unfortunate thing I will call out about the headset right now is that the cable is not detachable. It is fused into the left can. So if you get up from your rig in a, in a, in a rush, in a flurry, in a hurry, uh, you're probably going to have this be yanked off your head or you might take your rig with you and I don't think you want to do that. So some of the things that are included Detachable microphone and everybody who watches my videos knows exactly how I feel about detachable microphones. I freaking love them It also comes included with a USB sound card to simulate 7.1 surround sound well, This next feature this next thing that's included in this package Is what quite possibly makes this one of the best headsets I have ever used. Okay included replacement ear pads But Frank, why is that such a freaking big deal? Here's why the velour ear pads basically transform this headset into an open back headset, meaning that sound comes in, sound comes out. You're gonna be able to hear your environment and you're gonna be able to hear and the sound from your headset is gonna be able to get out and escape. The cool thing with that is that open back headsets tend to have a way better sound stage for gaming. So those of us who are playing games like Call of Duty, Valorant, PUBG, uh, any sort of multiplayer shooter that requires you to be able to have really good audio cues and a good sound stage on your headset, you're gonna be able to get that with the HyperX Cloud 2. On the other side of that spectrum, if you're somebody who plays in a noisy environment and you don't want all that noise coming in, you don't want your headset noise to get out, and you're not too concerned with soundstage, but you want a good rich bass, they have the pleather ear cups. And you literally swap them out and you convert this headset back and forth between open and closed back. The cups don't swivel, very, very little bit of give here. And of course, if you were to stretch out the headband like this, you got nothing to worry about. You're not gonna break your headset anytime soon. Other than that, the, uh, the cups on the outside are plastic. They're not metal, but it doesn't feel like a super cheap plastic. So I don't feel like you're gonna bump it on something and break it very easily. You're probably gonna have to put some effort into doing that. That's all I got for build. It's a pretty sturdy headset and it's very comfortable and it's versatile. Now, in regards to sound, this is what I'm going to tell you real quick, okay? Because I want to keep this one brief. In regards to sound, this is what I played and this is how I played. I played on my PlayStation 4 hooked up directly to the controller. I played on my PlayStation 4 hooked up using the Astro Mix Amp. And I played on PC using my onboard motherboard sound card, okay? I also did plug in the HyperX Cloud 2 using the provided USB sound card. Everything sounded absolutely incredible. 
it sounded it sounded really good. It got a lot of rich sound, rich details, able to really hear everything going on around the world. And especially when I'm playing shooters like Valorant, for instance, I can hear those footsteps coming from a mile away. As playing games like PUBG, I can get directional cues. I know exactly where a gunshot is coming from. I know that explosion happened over there. Playing Call of Duty, same exact thing. On PlayStation 4, I played the Ghost of Tsushima and Pro Evolution Soccer. Uh, hooked up to the controller and hooked up to the Astro Mix amp and then both instances the games sounded really damn good very rich very vibrant I did alternate using the pleather ear cups making a closed back headset and the velour ear cups making it an open back headset and in both instances on the ps4 console i got really good sound when i plugged the headset straight into the controller sounds amazing really solid sound really good volume the reason i'm emphasizing volume is because a lot of comments I've gotten recently are saying that how does the sound with headset plug into the controller with the system's volume, the PS4's volume? And I've had a, quite a few viewers respond saying that in their experience, the volume wasn't really that good. It wasn't enough for their liking. So please bear that in mind that what I would consider good volume for me might be very different from what you would consider good volume for you. With the volume maxed out on the PlayStation system, this headset punched a good little bit. It wasn't the most powerful thing in the world, but I wasn't sitting there wanting it to be any louder. I felt it was loud enough, more than enough. Now, the only other thing that we've got left to talk about in regards to the HyperX Cloud 2 is going to be the microphone. So let me get that set up and we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we went ahead and attached the microphone to the HyperX Cloud 2. And what you're hearing right now is the microphone in action. I've got it hooked up to my computer and I'm recording the commentary using Audacity. I've got no post-processing, no editing, nothing crazy done to it at all. Uh, at the very least, and I'll definitely notate it in the video, you might see uh, a volume boost. Sometimes when I record these things, uh, the volume can be a little lower than, than desired. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and let you know if I do volume boost. But from what I've heard in the testing that I've done for this microphone, this thing sounds crystal. And I mean like crystal freaking clear. It sounds really, really, really good. All right, this microphone sounds really great. It is detachable. You can definitely move the actual mic itself and conform it to your to the shape of your liking, right? Uh, it feels like it's got a really sturdy build, and I don't know. Actually, one thing. Let's test out. Let's see. Do we hear any crazy sound? So my audacity reading over here isn't showing me it had picked anything up, but we'll definitely you're definitely going to be able to hear that and we'll notate that in a video as well. I got to tell y'all, this headset is definitely worthy of having the title of one a, one of the best headsets of all time. This HyperX Cloud 2 is 99.99, 100 bucks at Best Buy, right? And it sounds great. And it has the ability to convert from open back to close back. It has a crystal clear microphone. This doesn't come with a mic. This is a high fidelity headset. It doesn't come with a microphone. It's actually not even a headset. It's considered, it is a headphone. Okay, these are headphones. They don't have microphones included with them. So it's not a headset. It's headphones. These are hi-fi headphones. They sound incredible. These are super light and super comfortable. This has been my favorite headset. My favorite headset I've ever used. And it's now number two because this... Cloud 2 headset is absolutely remarkable in every single thing that it does. It delivers incredible sound. It has an incredible microphone. It's durable. It's very well built. The only issues that I have with it, the only issue that I have with it is that the attached cable is too short and it doesn't come included with a PC Y adapter. It comes with a USB sound card for PC, but not the Y adapter. And I feel like they fell short a little bit there just because there's some of us who don't want to use a USB sound card because we understand that analog is better. That's just me though. The fact alone that you can obviously use this across multiple platforms is great, but what really makes this my favorite headset now of all time, worthy of its title, is the fact that you can convert this headset from open back to close back by, slip, by simply swapping out the ear cups or the ear pads, if you will. And it's very easy to do so. If you're in a market for a gaming headset and your budget is hundred bucks, this is the headset you need to get. This headset actually is perfect. When we think about headsets and I, the way I look at headsets, when I review them, I look at sound quality, build quality, and mic quality. This headset nails each one. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all staying safe and everybody in your family is just doing well. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're very close to 2,500 subs. So thank you everybody who's been joining the journey so far. 
And also make sure you check me out on my other content. I do some, I do other things besides YouTube. So you can check me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash GNR underscore Frank. You can follow me on Twitter at GNR underscore Frank. You can follow me on Instagram at GNR underscore Francisco. In the meantime, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Be good to yourselves and be good to one another. Peace out.